Good day everyone. Uh, we're here with the Winter Team Race League from Team Type 1 from December 29th. I'm here by myself today again um, while Alex sorts out his results show. Um, so it's going to be a similar thing to what we had last week, uh, going through from the D grade up into the A grade. Um, and then the women's as well. Uh, special uh, question out to any, uh, any other race organisers as well who uh, might want any sort of coverage like this of their own, um, me and Alex are open to that. And we're underway with the D category here. Um, we got quite an interesting course today. We got three laps of the Volcano Flat Lap, which is basically Watopia Flat and then a little short loop offshoot off to in, into the Volcano. But then... Uh, on that third lap, they shoot up the KOM, uh, the Volcano KOM, to the finish there. So we are actually got a hilltop finish. So that's going to be really interesting to watch when uh, we've got some people really, really going hard up the climb. <laughs> we're just uh, following Adam as he starts the climb to the finish here. It's, a, um, it's about... It's a bit over three kilometers this climb, and it's it's pretty underutilized uh, as a course on Zwift, and it's a bit of a shame because it's really it's really one of my favorite climbs. I think it's um really gives a good sort of uh I don't know like it can suit a whole bunch of different riders, um and anyone that's on good legs can can get up this climb, and so I think it makes for really interesting racing, especially today when we have the race finish at the top. I've never actually seen that before. So, um, yeah, just coming into the last uh, two and a half miles here for, for Adam. It looks like he's in a little bit of pain down the bottom. Um, obviously, been going pretty hard this whole way. Um, you can see quite a lot of these red spikes down the bottom as well. So, he's had a couple of efforts in there. So, really fantastic job there, uh, getting it done. And at the finish, we see a really good ride here by... Um, Vu Noyan, uh, winning by about 30 seconds uh, solo over Ben Blake and Thomas Vodsky. Um, 15 riders in there uh, in the Zwift Power finishing uh, stats. So a lot of Team Type 1 riders, of course the race organiser. So really fantastic to see their, their riders supporting the event. Um, and no women today in the D grade, uh, but maybe we'll see some in the later grades. We've got some footage in the C grade from Ingo Schorgenhumer out of the Rural Riders team here uh, filming a packed C grade. I think I've got about 52 riders here in the C grade. Uh, obviously very, very competitive. Um, just coming up to a little bit of a sprint here out of this underwater section. Obviously a pretty, pretty common place to throw a little bit of hurt down on, on Zwift. One of these little, um, little rises that you can kind of catch out a few people on if people aren't focusing quite properly and yeah we see a, a few people attacking up the front there hitting some seven watts per kilo eight watts per kilo uh from a couple of the riders at the front there maybe just trying to stretch the legs of some of the guys who are further back in the pack We've uh, started the climb here to the finish now, and it's stringing out pretty well. Looks like uh, Ingo's in a little bit of pain here, um, but obviously only only uh, three kilometers to the top here now. So it's time to just knuckle down and uh, see what place you can hang on to. Also, a big shout out to uh, to the Christmas theme around the outside here. Uh, a bit of a, a bit of a winter theme there. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit foreign for me coming from coming from New Zealand. I'm used to a uh, I'm used to thirty degrees in, in Christmas. So, so um yeah, bit bit of a novelty there. And uh, finishing the C grade there was Timothy Busink out of the dirt team, uh, winning by seven seconds over Dapper David and uh, Neil Hughes uh, and our uh, our filmer there, Ingo Schorgenhumer, uh, at 26 seconds back. So pretty close to the front there. Really great effort from everyone. Also last week's uh, last week's filmer, Julian Beyer, uh, just behind that as well. 
Shout out to uh, Ruthie Shapiro here from Team Fearless, getting in in 17th here in the C grade, as well as Stacey Zipporah from Team Type 1 as well in 50th. Really big field starting off here in the B grade. That's with uh, 92 riders there. Um, filming here from Andrew Benke. Uh, so he's out of the Club 3R, the new uh, the new name of what we all have known in the past as the WBR team. Um, name change to represent a more wider range of charitable sponsors, I believe. So, um, yeah. Good job there, and we'll see how he gets on during this race. Pretty interesting uh, first-person mode here that I've see, I'm seeing uh, Andrew use. Uh, I've never used that myself, but <laughs> it makes for a bit different filming. Uh, as we see a couple of riders just stringing it out a bit at the front, coming into the halfway point, including one of his teammates here. Uh, Mark S again from the Club 3R team. Maybe just uh, doing a little bit of team tactics, string the race out a bit. Uh, we'll see how that goes for the finish. Just about to enter the, the volcano climb here, uh, four kilometer climb. Um, it looks like there's a big group in this B grade. No one's managed to really get off the front here. And it's going to be a bit of a we can't really say a sprint when it's uh, <laughs> probably a climb that takes uh, over over six minutes, but uh, it's going to be a bit of a blast to the finish line. All these guys will be having a maximum VO2 effort here as we see uh, our, uh, our filmer here and his teammate again really attacking the start of the climb. Quite interesting here with 300 meters to go. It's still a bunch in this B grade. And this is when it really kicks up to the finish. And we see our guys just just struggling a little bit here as a few of these other guys have a little bit more legs to kick onto the line. Um, really, a lot, of, a lot of these Tron bikes lighting up with a lot of power. And this is when it really kicks up. And oh, it doesn't feel like he's got the legs to go with some of these attackers but a uh, really fantastic race anyway by Andrew and it's a really tough finish so good job there and in the sprint there we had uh Mark Swatton our uh, our teammate that we saw of our of our uh, of our filmer attacking a couple of times he won the sprint just over Paul Buckland of Team Type 1 the race organizer and a couple of these innovation riders, Retzalf and Ridevold. Ridevold was up in the mix there last week as well, I remember. And our uh, our our guy, uh, Andrew, down there in 16th, just getting away, just in that little kick to the line. Uh, special shout out to Cecilia Hansen here in 14th. Really great ride from, from a girl getting up there to only be within six seconds of the winner. Really great job. And again, Kirsten Hall, who, uh, who was up there in 45th. Great job as well. And uh, one more down here, Ukrainian rider from uh, Team Type 1 as well. Awesome job. Really lucky here to have, the, um, have some footage here submitted from the dart frog himself, Leandro Messineo. Uh, the Argentinian rider, widely renowned as the strongest guy on Zwift. Um, see a really strong field in the A group. Obviously, we got Leandro here. Uh, Kim Little uh, is getting up there with some races lately, I've seen. Obviously, a really dangerous rider. And selected in the um, Zwift All-Stars team for the upcoming KISS Super League, as well as Drew John out of France and Team Vision, who's also in the race today. Um, another couple of guys, Soren Bay as well, the Danish champion out of Fusion ECT, and uh, Sam Lindsay, uh, a, a relatively new guy uh, to Zwift in the last few months, um, but obviously ridiculously strong. I think he's living in Britain at the moment, even though he is a Kiwi like myself, and I have seen him before on the road, and he is just as strong as he always was, uh, and I um, with it being a climb to the finish today, I think he's uh, one of the one of the favourites going into the race as well, along with Leandro, of course. 
we're still pretty much all together at this point coming into the last 15 k's here uh see no one no one's really um no one's really tried to stretch the bunch all that much so far uh maybe a few guys who are thinking that they will have the legs or even that they're just going to have to save the legs for this uh for this finish climb as we're just exiting this uh ocean ocean road here and um yeah usually i expect to see a few people attacking up here like we like we saw in the c grade but uh not really happening today We've just uh, hit the start of the climb and Sam Lindsay and Kim Little have attacked immediately, uh, really wanting to string this race out. I know I've, I've raced Sam up this climb before and he had the same tactic that time, just whack it the whole way from the start and just see who's left at the top. It's a little bit different today with the, with the finish being at the top. You need to have a little sprint for that uh, last little kicker up to the finish, but uh, obviously he knows his tactics and he's making it work, but... Leandro is attacking him over the top um, and uh, not sure what acceleration any of those guys who just attacked are going to have but it looks like Lindsay's going to be able to stick on the wheel and it looks like there's a little bit of the elastic band snapping just behind him. We see a one second just forming there to Siren Bay out of the Fusion team as well as the rest of the pack and Leandro just keeps on going. And the sprint to the line here between the two guys that got off the front, Leandro and Lindsay. And coming into the last couple of hundred meters, it really ramps up to the finish. And it looks like Leandro's just got the draft here and is going to be able to pump over the top and to the finish line. And that is why this guy is the poison dart frog. Because if you try to attack him, he will hurt you even more. And he gets the win over a great ride from Sam there. And then the pack closing in a few seconds behind. And that is why this guy, Leandro Messineo, is the strongest guy on Zwift. Leader of the Zwift Power Z points uh, rankings at the moment. Uh, getting the win there by a second over Lindsay. And then the two guys from the, the Zwift All-Stars team in the, in the KISS Super League, Drew John and Little, just coming in a bit behind. So really great race, great, great racing, great course, awesome to watch. Yeah, I love it. Um, see if there's any girls in the A group. Yes, we have Louise again from the same as last week, getting up there from the innovation team, 41st at only, only a minute 20 behind the front of the race. So, I mean, that just goes to show you how competitive these girls are. It's... Uh, it's a really fast time to only lose a minute 20 to Leandro up that climb. It's very difficult. Awesome riding, everyone. It's been a blast uh, getting to you this Winter Team Race uh, League from Team Type 1 from December 29th. Again, if you're a race organiser and you want me and Alex to do something similar, then get in touch. We'd love to do it. And, uh, yeah, we just want to... Get into it, make some more videos, and uh, yeah, have some more fun. So, see you on the road, and ride on.